Hey guys, welcome to MB Tech Talker. My name's Matt. In this video, I want to show you how I use templates and template stacks to manage and configure PanOS firewalls from Panorama. You can check out all my Palo Alto Networks topics on my website at www.mbtechtalker.com. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and don't forget that bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. So templates and template stacks are used to configure firewalls using Panorama so that they can function on a network. So let's take a look at the tabs. As you can see, templates encompasses both network and device tabs. So the network tab is where we can define interfaces, IP addresses, zones, virtual routers, and so on. And the device tab is where we can configure server profiles like SNMP traps, syslog, or radius authentication, etc. These are exactly the same tabs you, you, you would see when you log directly into the firewall's web UI. Panorama supports up to 1,024 template stacks and each stack can have a maximum of eight templates assigned. So let's review the firewalls in the Manage Device Summary. So I'm under Manage Devices and Summary. So in my lab, I currently have two pairs of active passive firewalls. So we have firewalls 01 and 02 are one pair and 03 and 04 another pair. You can see in the template column here um, that each pair of firewalls are associated to a unique template stack. So a template stack is essentially a bucket uh, that contains multiple templates. These templates and template stacks were created when I first imported the high availability firewalls into Panorama. If you haven't seen that video yet, uh, I recommend you go and watch it so you understand how and why I created these templates and template stacks in the first place. So I'll put a card up above for you. So let's go and take a look at the templates. And as you can see, there is a unique template for each managed firewall. However, because these are active passive HA pairs, we're actually only interested in the firewall one and the firewall three templates, as this is where the network configuration has been applied and then added to the respective template stacks. So if we go to the network tab and select the firewall ones template, you can see all the interfaces, IP addresses, zones, etc., have all been configured in this template. And, and then that's been pushed down to firewall one and it's been synchronized over to firewall two, excluding the IP addresses as the passive device will only inherit the IP addresses when a failover event occurs. So if we go back to the templates, you will notice that we've only got one template in each template stack and it's referencing the active firewall. So what we can do is rename each of the active firewalls to be a little bit more intuitive. So, so the active firewall templates to be a little bit more intuitive when looking at it so you can understand what's going on. So if I clicked on firewall one's template and then I added O2 to it, this now, when you, when you look at it, you can see, oh right, this template now looks after firewall one and two. And if we do the same for 03 and 04, so you can see now we've renamed this, these two templates, and they've also updated inside the stack. So you can see that in each stack, this template is serving both of these firewalls. So now we can delete this template so firewall two and firewall four from the configuration. And it's just a little bit easier to understand when you come in here in the future and go, oh, right, okay. So this template looks after firewall one and two, this template looks after three and four. Each of these templates are in the, in the respective template stacks and those templates are being um, assigned or um, pushed 
to these firewalls because these are the devices that are inside of these template stacks. So that just makes it a little bit easier um, and it's just a better way, of, you know, a, a nice naming convention. Uh, it just makes it more straightforward when you're looking at it in the future, especially when we have lots and lots of templates. You don't want it all messy and you, you don't know what's going on. You just want to have a, a really decent naming convention going forward. So now that's done, I can just push that configuration. I don't have to worry about that again. Okay, so let me demonstrate a quick, simple template change. So let's say I wanted to add an additional interface to both firewall one and two. So we go over to the network tab, make sure we've got the correct template selected, and then I'm just gonna add a interface. So it's gonna be slot one and the interface, let's just add one slash eight, and it's gonna be a layer three. Um, virtual router VR1, virtual system, and let's just say this is an internal. So trust, and then click OK. Now we can go to commit and commit and push. You can see that the correct template is selected, and you can see here the correct template stack. So if I click commit and push, and that'll take a little while. So if we go down to tasks, we should be able to see the job and there's a commit all task here and you can see the commit to template PA FW01 underscore 02 stack, because that's where the template is assigned to. If we click on commit all, you can see that it's being sent to these two devices. Once that's completed, I'll be able to uh, nip over to the firewall one um, and we should be able to see that interface appear. So if we go to the actual firewall itself, so I've just opened the firewall directly to the management interface. And if we went to the network tab and then went to interfaces, we should now see we have a ethernet one slash eight available. Um, it's obviously there's no connectivity there, so it's showing down. But yeah, that's how straightforward it is. So that example took care of one pair of firewalls, but what about making changes to multiple firewalls simultaneously? This is why templates and template stats become very useful and save lots of time when making common changes and applying them across multiple firewalls in your firewall estate. So if we go back to Panorama and then go back to templates, you'll notice I have got a global settings template and it's been added to each of the template stacks. If I click on the network tab again under templates and with the global settings template selected, straight away I can tell there's no settings, no network settings inside this template. And the reason I know that is if I go to the device tab under templates, you'll notice these little gray dots next to these sections. Now ignoring the virtual systems, because that's a default setting, and homing in on this log setting, we can see some log configuration. What's brilliant about templates is that if I wanted to send all configuration in the global settings template to any new firewall that are managed by Panorama or even maybe a hundred existing firewalls, all I need to do is add the global settings template to the template stack which has those firewalls in it. So let me show you. So if I go back to the Panorama tab and then templates, in both these template stacks, you can see the global settings template is present. If I open one of these template stacks, this is where you can add a template by clicking add here. Notice the text down here. It says the template at the top of the stack has the highest priority in the presence of overlapping config. So what that means is if there is configuration in the same fields in multiple templates, the template at the top would be preferred and the template configuration would be applied. 
let me demonstrate this by creating a new template. So if I click add down here, and then I'm going to call it global settings demo, and then click OK. If I go back into the stack, and then add the new template, now I'm going to move it to the top, and then click OK. And we do the same for Firewall 3 and 4. So we click Add, Global Settings Demo, and then move to the top. Click OK. So let's look at the log settings again in, in the existing Global Settings template. So we click on Device, and we go to Global Settings. And as you can see, the let's take a note of this. So it's all system, all logs, and it's going to be sent to Panorama Cortex Data Lake. So if we go into Global Settings Demo, and then we add all system, and then instead of it being all logs, we're going to change the severity to equal critical, and then we're going to tick the Panorama Cortex Data Lake, and then click OK. So if we go back to Panorama, just verify again. So we've got two stacks, and in those stacks, we've got a new global settings demo template in both of them. It's at the top, so it should take precedence over the existing global settings. So if we commit and push that change to Panorama and the firewalls. So let's take a look at the task. So it hasn't committed yet. Let's go over to Firewall 1. And we're going to go to device and as it stands we've still got all system and all logs and then on the other firewall three active firewall if we do the same thing you've got all system all logs and you can see that it's been applied by the correct template stack so we're just waiting for the commit to complete and fingers crossed, the demonstration of this should be quite apparent. Okay, so that's completed. Let's go over to file one, file one first. And if we just refresh the browser, and there you go. So because the object essentially is named exactly the same, it's identical in both the global setting template and the global settings demo template. However, the filter's different. So essentially, the top global settings demo has taken precedence. And if we go and check in Firewall 3 and then refresh this, it should be the same thing. So there you go. So that essentially demonstrates how templates and in template stacks work. Um, and how, you know, the order of um, of the templates come into play something you need to be mindful of or understand how it works so that's it guys i'm sure you know what to do by now but if you don't please hit that subscribe smash that like button and click that bell notification don't forget you can see all of these topics on my website at www.mbtechtalker.com well that's it i'll see you in the next video